And I forgot to mention this already. Uh, I well, at the end of the last video, we died trying to complete that mission where we could ultimately get Rama. Well, it looks like we were able to take the Legion outpost there. I did it all offline. It wasn't that much more difficult than what I already did. So you don't have to worry about that. And apparently I unlocked the ability to see Legion activity, like this outpost right here on my mini-map. So that was unlocked by completing the outpost. But now I'm in the middle of this mission right now. The Babylon Soling finally is up to... Yeah. So this, this is the progress I've made on this mission since I since completing that outpost takeover where I died last time. So now I'm back in the Ark. What else can I do? I can acquire a vehicle. Okay. Well, I'm, I think I might get experience for that. Well, I'm thinking about that. Uh, let me go back a bit. Missions. Well, I can't do any of these contracts yet. Agent operations, Legion control outpost. I defeat a legion, defeat legion to claim this outpost for mayhem. But the problem is, is that when I completed that last outpost clearing mission, uh, the one where I died, after completing it, these are now available. But the problem is, is that the mission, the game wars get there. My the enemies are going to be harder now. On the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see my current difficulty was three. I tried doing level five and I got killed. I tried doing level four and I got killed. So I went to level 3. The recommended level is 2. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, not afraid of dying. I kind of want to see how well I do at this point in the game. Although to be honest, I kind of want to get more fast travel points, you know, the warp points. And I kind of want to get more characters before I start increasing the difficulty level too much. So that's not, so I guess level 3 is fine for now. Hostage rescue. What do I get for doing these, by the way? Stop Elite, destroy the Legion equipment. That might be interesting. Legion lair. Yeah, those are the, apparently those are the procedurally generated underground layers where mobs appear. I'm curious how those go. Stop Legion from patrolling the area. Destroy the Legion truck. This main controlled outpost shows nearby Legion activity. Well, what's this other one, then? Oh, sorry, that's the one I already did. Okay, so that's the one I already did. Well, it said complete. Let me confirm something. So that one is complete. I don't want to do that. Recon run. What's this? Target of opportunity. Destroy specific Legion vehicle. Okay, so I'm curious what my options are at this point in the game, then. Well, I guess I can acquire a vehicle. I don't know if that's going to count towards my XP. In fact, let me show you that. Squad. Well, these squads aren't going to change. In fact, let me show you um, what I already got. Um, when, I was, when I was not recording. I turned on this passive ability, which allows him to fit, which he meant so much raw magic to them. He inflicts enfeebles and vulnerable on enemies he dashes near. So as long as I run near an enemy, uh, they'll, they'll debuff them. I forget what Enfeeble does, but I know what Vulnerable does, so I'll take that. Don't know how much of a, I, don't know, I don't know how much of a debuff it is, but at least it's there. I have the option of equipping this weapon, but it gives me a smaller magazine, and I'm thinking, I don't think it's really worth it for what I get, which is an automatic, which it's a chance for an automatic reload on a critical hit. That's very specific. I don't care that much about that kind of crap. Attention Seeker! See, I can do a red carpet bomb, or I can do a regular grenade. I guess I can do this instead. I guess, else I'll turn on the red carpet bomb. So I'll try that instead. And the game automatically saves. You can see right here on the left side of this icon. So every time I change one of these things, the game automatically saves. So that's cool. Uh, upgrades. Do I want to do any upgrades? Well, I have four upgrade points available right now. Let's see what I have. A, let's see what I can do. Cover boy. Uh, two with increased magazine size. All the wood can impress the ladies even more. Because bigger is better. Plus two magazine size. Uh, it doesn't tell me what my current magazine size is, but it, it's not two extra bullets, really. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a big deal, to be honest. Although it is an assault rifle. 
so that might be interesting. But yeah, I think I can carry 30 in this a gun already, so why would two stinking bullets matter that much? I'll worry about that later. Ma'am, durability duration increases by 5%. Yay. So what is that? Uh, that's one. That's 21 seconds instead of 20. I don't think it lasts. I think it only lasts 10 seconds. So it's not very important right now. Although if I do two increases, maybe it'll increase it more. I don't know. We're about that later. New Age Guru. 3.5% um, uh, special ability refresh, huh? Oh, so it refreshes more quickly. So instead of refreshing in 10 seconds, it refreshes in 9.5 seconds. That doesn't seem very important. Uh, I'm a philanderer at heart. Team player. 5% bonus mayhem to the squad. That actually sounds interesting. Because it's a squad bonus, and that might be useful. I can also reset points. Okay. So I gave myself the current bonus of 5%, and the next, if I do it one more time, I can give my squad 10% bonus mayhem. What if I reset everything? Okay, maybe is that free? Can I respec as much as I want? 10%, 15%. Let me do a reset. See, that didn't change. Okay, so we'll do that. And how many do I have on the next agent? Oh, okay, so each agent has four upgrade points available. So, okay. So that's cool. Let me keep those. Uh, main mobility duration. Yeah, that's not like a big deal. But this is a squad bonus, so I like that. So I'll keep those. Intimidator. Let's see what, let's see what Tower Attack has. 0.3% .3 health regen. Ugh. Actually, doesn't he already have this? Well, we'll take that. Health regen, health regen. 3% health from pickups. Uh, as opposed to what I normally get, I guess. 2.5% uh, reload speed, whatever. 3% melee damage resistance for the squad. That sounds good. So I'll increase that to 9. Actually, it's not much. Let me reset that. Yeah, 3, 6, 9. That's it. That's all I get. And health regen. Actually, let me go back a bit. Let me redo that. So increase his health regen by 0.6%. And increase the damage re melee resistance by 3%. So I'll take those three. So at least he gets some extra health regen. Maybe that's useful. I don't know. 1%? Really? How, how important can that possibly be? Anyway, uh, treasure hunter. Nobody can ring out cash. Better than deal better than fortune. 5% uh, cash bonus reward for a squad. That sounds useful. I'll save that for later. Uh, Master Gunner. 3% overheat recover or whatever. 3% ability, special ability refresh. 4% shield reboot. So I guess that increases the speed, I guess, at which it reboots. Mm. See the cash bonus. Straight cash only. Okay, so I think we're done. Let me check on something. Yeah, so those are permanent. So if I reset... Okay, so y'all come back. Alright. So I'll just do that. 20% cash, but wow. That's a pretty good buff. Shield reboot. Okay, so I'll keep all those. Uh, let's try... Yeah, the magazine size isn't that important. I'll come back to that. So we're done with that. All right. Gadgets. Love gadgets. Cannonball is my double tap. So I guess we'll call it a cannonball from now on. I just like calling it a double tap because you tap your guns together. <laughs> you do the cannonball. So I prefer calling it the tap. Uh, hot shot magazine. Uh, yeah. Increased weapon damage by 25%, but the guns overheat faster. I don't know if that's important. I'll keep that in mind for later. Cavalier boots. These are passives. Uh, when, when I dash, the enemies are slowed down and are vulnerable. I like that. We'll come back to that. Upgrades already been established. Core upgrades only. How many shards do I have? So I have two that I share for each party member. I'm not sure. Permanently improve one agent. So I have two upgrade cores, and I think they're. I don't think they're shared. I'll come back to that. 
Overcharge the duration of her MAM ability. Gray has a 50% chance to stun three enemies. What? But what's a glory? Anyway, glory stun starts more often during combat. I don't know what glory is actually. <laughs> yeah. Let me come back to that. You agent abilities. What is glory? Let me confirm. Oh, that's the drone. Okay. So stun enemies. Okay, so that's good. Wait. Air. Oh, I didn't know I had an air dash. That's good. So I can do X press the B button in the air for the air dash. See, I know I can no idea I can do that. He has an air dash too. Okay, so attack and climb walls. But Fortune and Hollywood have an air dash. I, I had no idea they had the air dash. Maybe it got unlocked when I got to level 4. I'm not sure. Gains cooldown reduction when he shoots while airborne. Okay. Damn, I'm good. Uh, the agent deals bonus damage against golems. Whatever. Uh, did it, did the assault rifle. Special. Yes, the red carpet bomb. I thought I turned that off. Well, we'll come back to that. I think, actually, I think I added a slow ability to that. A slow buff. So we have mid-air dashing. That's good to know. And that. And that. Okay, so let's go back to hard attack. See what he has. Weapon. Yes, yeah, so we got AOE on... So he's, it's a close-range weapon and it attack, and it strikes enemies that are near the target. So it's an AOE. Uh, let's see. Special harpoon. Yeah, get over here like Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. Traversal with the A button. Okay, just like jumping. Passive. Melee attack, sweep around him, and inflict increased knockback. Whatever. Agent deals bonus damage to armor and ar pierces targets protected by hard armor. Yeah. And fortune. Okay, that's already been established. Glory stuns random targets on the battlefield. So basically, at, 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 so anyway, if I'm shooting somebody, eventually the drone will show up and help. We'll see how that goes. Dual pistols. Flicks bonus damage on stunned enemies. Well, how do you stun them is the question. Uh, I've already, that's the, that's the uh, double tap cannonball. Passive. What's the other passive? Going to overcharge with fire for a time, which allows you to fire a large explosive bash. Because of a full rate of fire, and we'll need to cool down after. Okay. All right. Agent deals bonus damage to shields. Requires agents. This agent can attack hard. Yeah, I, I'm not level 10 yet, so I can't do that. So I'll have to figure out what the Shivering Timbers passive is all about. And let me confirm. Yeah, I got the red carpet bomb already equipped, so that's fine. So that adds slow and blindness when I do that special attack. That's already been confirmed. Already confirmed that. Oversized magazine. Okay, that's what I need to check. Nothing there. Oversized magazine. Three more rounds, but reloading takes longer, but that's okay, because it only holds, like, what, six at this point? So instead of shooting three rounds before reload, I shoot six, and I'm willing to accept that. Extra C rations. So I guess she and For I guess he and Fortune are mates at some point. And I missed a bit of shipping. I guess we missed a bit of shipping earlier. Well, what's her name? Uh, Black... What was it? <laughs> yeah, Black... Uh, the Engineer. Um, Aja's daughter. <laughs> seemed to seem to give a crap about what heart attack thinks, so I guess that's shipping fuel. At any rate, uh, let me see what's nearby. City map. By the way, while I was uh, traversing to the other checkpoints, I pressed the Y button for scanning, and apparently I unlocked some of these little miniature missions right here, like this. Destroy Legion equipment. That sounds easy. I get XP and cash for that. Destroy a target vehicle. Get XP and cash. More of that. Destroy Legion equipment for more cash. Because I'm always back for more cash. Destroy Legion truck for a machine part. Cash. And XP. I might get a vehicle skin, but I don't care about that. Okay, so what am I near? Okay, I'm supposed to set up a meeting spot for Gremlin. We'll come back to that. So I guess I can explore this area. So I, instead of doing the Bane mission, I'll just tool around town and see what I can do. I can rescue a hostage. Not going to shoot him. I'm just going to rescue him. Mayhem controlled outpost. So I'll come back to the Mayhem controlled outpost. Let me zoom out a bit. 
uh, requirements. I need to be level 10, and I need one of those agents. So I need, so I need Fortune, um, Yeti, who's on the left of Fortune, and another that other character I don't recognize. I forget her name. Well, yeah, she hasn't been unlocked yet, so don't worry about that. So I can't do this. Le I can't do this mission anyway until I get a level 10 uh, Fortune. As you might be able to see it right here. Fortune unlocks the master programmer requirement at level 10. She's only level 4 right now, so we're not going to worry about that. But we'll get crystal gems. I mean shards. If we complete that quest, we'll come back to that. Rescue a hostage. Destroy Legion. So I guess I can explore around here, see what's doing. The game's giving me stuff to do like in Saints Row games, so we'll see how it goes. It would be interesting to know what quests give me what rewards if I could filter those out that would be nice but I'm not gonna worry about that yet I can take this Legion outpost and get some crystal shards and upgrade core and some Intel but that might be hard so I'll come back to that once I get a bit stronger same deal here I'm gonna need shield buster but I already have a shield buster there's a shield buster perk somewhere in my party and so that's gonna help us in fact let me check my squad one of us has a shield buster perk uh, I wonder who it is uh, view agent abilities. X. Who has the shield buster? A skin piercer. Yeah, Fortune has the shield buster ability. So that means I can actually do this quest on the map. So where is it? Yeah, so this quest requires an agent who has the shield buster ability, and that's Fortune. Okay, so I'm trying to make sense of this game, so that's one of the reasons why I do these videos. It allows me to figure out, it allows me to figure out what I know at what point in the game. <laughs> so I guess that makes sense. So let's just go down. There's only one waypoint anyway. There's only one warp point at this juncture. What's in my inventory? Gremlin Tech. Yeah, what's her name? Uh, Aja's kid? Yeah, uh, not Aja. Uh, Shayna's daughter. What's her name? Black Kinsey. Well, we'll get to her in a moment. Okay, we can't build any... I didn't use this gutter ball gun last time. I'll probably save it for a harder mission. Because I only have five of them, right? So why use this? You don't need it. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. Can we just jump down or we just go down the normal way? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's go down the normal way. Actually, technically this isn't... This isn't the Ark. <laughs> this is just a this is just an outpost that we've taken. So I claim this land for mayhem. So now I can go down. As you can probably tell, the frame rate's not great. I want to say it's in the 20s, maybe 30 tops. Yeah, it's definitely in the 20s. So I guess we're talking about Saints Row 4 level of <laughs> uh, performance here. So I'm not, I, I, start, I, I guess that explains why the game wasn't released on the 360. Do <laughs> you imagine how ugly this game would look on the 360? Okay, map. Where do we want to go? Okay, that's where I am. Hmm. I thought we've already secured this outpost. Right? Yeah, I think we've already secured this one. All right. There we go. Yeah, this is it. Watch your language, man. Well, at any rate, so this is the post. This is the outpost we've already claimed. So what's next? Uh, I think we can rescue a hostage. Maybe we can warp back here. I don't know. Maybe we can't. So let's hop down. Hopefully, we won't die. Uh, what's the battle cry? Yeah. Um, I hope I don't get hurt. Don't splat on the ground. Okay, that's the elevator. Okay. Let's head over here to the checkpoint, see what's going on. I missed the air dash. Sorry. Cool down. So, Fortune and I have this air dash right there. So that's going to be handy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, shoot that. 
See ya. Let's switch to what's his name. So I get mayhem just for shooting these guns, right? Well, stop shivering. Uh, let's see. We're shuddering. That was a hostage? Oh, I was shooting the shackles, I guess. Well, that was easy. What about this one? Okay. Now, I think that was just a destroy Legion equipment quest. Oh, well, I'll work my way back over there. There's nothing else over here? Well, I'll check it out in a moment. I'll scan. Legion tech schematic. Ooh, but that requires infiltrating a lair. I'll do that later. Don't worry, I'll do a special video for this. Okay, press the Y button. See if I can scan and find something. There's the hostage rescue. Bob Quiz hot shot. Which reminds me. Let me check the map. So I don't think we I don't think there's anything here. I'm just gonna keep scanning, see if I find anything. And I wanna say that um, taking over that mayhem outpost that I, that I just left, taking that over unlocked a lot of uh, checkpoints and areas and missions on the map. I wanna say that's what happened, so that might work out. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far away. So let's jump. Traversal isn't too bad at this point. I'll, that's good to know. And we gotta go on top of this building, maybe. That's gonna be interesting. I okay, I got myself into trouble here. Let's go around. All right. So how do I get up there? There we go. Eat it. Boom. What I get? What I get? <laughs> Whatever I did, it worked. So did I rescue the hostage? <laughs> I think I might have blown up the hostage. Well, I wasn't even paying attention. Because I should have been paying attention. No, I can't do that. Destroy ma'am delivery. Destroy legion equipment. That'll be easy. Okay. Doing random stuff. Is that the name of this video? I turned off the music, so... Maybe that'll save me some trouble in the future. Jump. And an air dash. Okay, I got... Whoops. Something happened. Did I lose my shield? Yeah, my shield. Destroy! Destroy! Oh, you son of a... I can't do melee attacks in the air, so you know. So we're good there. And the game automatically chooses the nearest mission to me, right? Like that Legion layer over there? I guess I will get to that later. Okay, so it automatically selected the next mission checkpoint there. Destroy Legion equipment. Start a recon run. Let's destroy some equipment over here. So we're making progress. Getting XP, that kind of thing. This isn't an Ubisoft game, but it's got plenty of Ubi crap to do. Okay. Well, this is a volition game, so I got plenty of that on the run. Okay, let's jump. Wait, what's that? Is that money? What might you be? Look at that. Crystal shot. We are the crystal shards. Uh, we got a Legion Alert wipe. I don't know what that is. Flip that Y button, see if there's anything here worth scanning. Wait, 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 I saw something in the distance. That over there. Let me collect that. Shiny, and I want it. There we go. Yep, see? So I need to get ten of these, is that it? Almost like in, like in uh, Saints Row 4. Let's explore a little bit, see what we can find. And dash. Okay, so when I dash, I don't move in a straight line like in a... Uh, a Mega Man game. We actually move downward. <laughs> so, that's, I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, there's some more shards over there. Just a second. 
like a ninja turtle climbing these rooftops. Okay. So there are a couple more over there. Let me grab those. So I can only air, I can only dash once in the air. So I can do three jumps, but only one dash during any of those jumps. So I'll keep that in mind. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna get that shark. Okay, one more to go. Where is it? Right there. So let's see what happens when I collect when I collect ten shards. The game said nine out of ten, so. That's not a shard, it's a light. Oh well. Hello, citizen. Not doing anything important. Anyone got any shards? No, wait, I saw that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what I get? I got an upgrade core, okay. So now I know. And those are, those are, I don't know if they're that rare, but it's good to know that I can get them by collecting those. So if I find any more, I'll just pick them up. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them. Okay, 100. So let's head over there. Darn it, wrong button. Oh, wait. Did I do that in midair and then get three more jumps? Let me confirm that once it reloads. That's my air dash. Whoops! Can I just walk? Let's walk. Let's walk through Seoul carrying two pistols conspicuously <laughs> conspicuously out in the open. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I can climb walls. Where's Heart Attack? There he is. He has mayhem, by the way. Yeah, see, so he can uh, jump up these walls, right? We can only climb them once? Let me check. That's weird. Huh, just a second. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm actually climbing them correctly. Okay, might as well practice this while I'm trying to get to where I'm going. Yeah, okay. So it's like it's one grab, and so it's one grab against the wall. So that's collect ten more crystal shards, huh? Yeah, I don't have an air dash. Let me get rid of this. Okay, let's use Hollywood. He has an air dash, at least. Uh, am I missing it? There it is. Okay, I can switch to fortune. Let's head up there. We've done enough crystal shard collecting at this point. Howdy. That's right, you better run. Okay, uh, shoot it. Well, not that. This. Actually, let me switch to somebody else. I can get some mayhem. Yeah, let's get some more mayhem for this. So I got mayhem for that, right? I don't get mayhem just for shooting, do I? No. But I get mayhem for picking stuff up, I hope. Or shooting individual enemies. So let me see if I can dash over here and get some mayhem for collecting that. Nope, missed. Alright, let's try again. Darn it. Out the way, citizen. Okay, I gotta get around. Gosh darn it. Where's the shot over here? Hold on. So do I collect some, so do I get mayhem points? Check the left hand side of the screen, the fleur de lis, you know, New Orleans. So it's the, on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. You see the red bar on the bottom, the green bar above it, and the short purple bar on top of that. That'll, I want to see if that goes up if I collect this. Apparently not. Okay, well, now I know. But I think that purple bar, my mayhem bar, does go up if I shoot stuff. So let me find out. Okay, I needed that. Is there another shard up here? Yep. What if it's not? Okay, uh, what can I shoot? I went, I, I, okay, I seem to have deviated from my course. I wish there were a quicker way to get to the map, but two button presses isn't too bad. Okay, so I can do uh, recon runs, um, maybe later. I don't want to do that kind of exploration right now. Acquire a vehicle. 
Okay, let me see what that. Let me see what that's about. Probably do a different video for that. Whoop! <laughs> I pressed Y to steal this vehicle. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, I'm gonna acquire another vehicle, huh? Let me get something that looks cool. Don't sass me. I'm walking here. All right. So basically, you don't have to open the door to get into the car, but you have to open the door to get out of it. <laughs> so, don't know what that's about. Okay. Don't who needs GPS? We got this. Honk with the right stick. That at. Guess I can't power slide. Okay. Feels like that stupid taxi in Total Recall. Okay, so we'll go this way. I'm assuming this is faster. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. So do I have to steal it? Oh, well, who's this quarter mile dude? Drive to the drop off location. Are cops going to chase me? Whoops, yep, I'm going to be attacked. Not by cops necessarily. Alright. Stay out of the way of the fuzz. Ah, oh, crap, that doesn't look good. Nope, it is not good. Guess I have to survive, huh? Too bad I can't shoot these guys. Out the way, doofus. Oh, for crying out. Out the way. Okay, how we doing? Haha. Uh, -huh. uh oh. <laughs> that didn't work as well as I thought it would. How am I gonna get there if these stupid things were in my way? And that we saw that bugging out. That's I blame the game for that. Fix your crab delicious. Okay, where is this thing? Almost there. Hey, what do you call me? Okay, it's over here. Okay, I'm not dead. Outstanding. So I got a vehicle blueprint. Yay! Collect enough of the same vehicle blueprint to unlock a new car at the vehicle bay and the ark. But does that count towards my total? Whoops. Just a second. Don't have enough mayhem yet. So how much do I get for killing these guys? Tap. Okay, so I got a little bit of mayhem for doing that. So what else can I shoot? Can I shoot that? If I don't get mayhem for shooting mopeds. That sucks. I thought there was an easy way for me to collect mayhem. Actually, I can steal that, right? Hit the scan button. And I can steal this, right? I can't, I can't steal this. I can steal that, but I don't want to. I'm not trying to steal a garbage truck. Okay, where to next? I don't know if I want to do a bunch of those missions. Let's see, acquire. Actually, I don't want to do that. I give city map. I kind of wish I could just choose the one mission I want. <laughs> Rescue a hostage. Yeah, I don't want to get any more vehicles, really. Okay, destroy a Legion truck. Well, while I'm on the way, I'll head over here to the right. Yeah, there's something over there. Which way is north, by the way? I don't think I... There isn't a mini-map here in this game. Don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I got a shard. I guess this video is just going to be about open worlding. Seeing what's out there. There we go, another shard. Okay, whoops, excuse me. Sorry about that. There's another shard. What's that in the distance? A big oval. Hmm. Gateway arch and soul. Come on. Okay, so I need three more of those. There's another one up there. Top of the pagoda, is that what that is? Off. 
Okay, see if I can make it up there. Don't have to shoot. Okay, let's head up there. So I guess if nothing else, I'm building mayhem meters for all my characters. So yeah, Heart Attack already has his mayhem meter mayhem meter full. Hollywood's almost full. So I guess I might as well fill him up. And what else do we got? Those guys aren't going to do any damage, are they? Hello, citizens! Okay. There's not a lot of traffic here. I think that was one of the complaints people had about this game. Yeah, let's go over that way. Ooh, there's a shard over there on the right. There's two of them, wow. So I head over in that direction. Collect them both. So that'll put me near um, the ten that I need. Yeah, there's one right there. There's another one over there. Okay. This is going to work out. Okay, so two more. Okay, you got to do a triple jump to get that one. This is kind of weird that I need a triple jump to collect anything in this game. It seems that way. Alright. So I got another upgrade core. So that's not so bad. Actually, should I even use one of these at this point? Let me do a quick check. Squad goals. Okay, so I have how many of these? Four. Okay, stuns more often during combat. That can mean anything. 50% chance to stun three enemies instead of just one. Uh, that's interesting. Which weapons are overcharged for the duration of a minute? Uh, maybe not. I would shoot from the hip. You know, it's a bonus to hit critical hit damage. So if I don't zoom in with the left trigger, then I have a bonus to a critical hit. But critical hits are very specific. Dash leaves behind a timer grenade. That's actually very interesting. So if I'm close to an enemy and I dash away, that looks very. That sounds very interesting, actually. How is vanity now creates more explosions and gives his gun unlimited ammo and a faster rate of fire for the duration it does? That's actually very good, Merka. Okay, uh, hard attack. Increases greater damage to the Legion commanders. Gains fortify when he dashes. How long does it last? Oh. Mega mine. Can deploy more mines. Yeah, I'm not even worried about that. I'll keep that in mind when I'm handling groups. Okay, so which one do I want? Yeah, this one looks interesting. Are you sure you want to spend an upgrade? Cool. Well, we'll get more, I hope. Because I can't, I can't take those back. So I have three cores left. I don't want to waste any more until I get some more stuff. At least until I get some more troops. Okay, so we're level four. Hollywood and Hearts. So we're all the same level, pretty much. I don't know if it matters who kills. I don't know if it matters who kills who at this point in this game. Does it matter who? Does it like, for instance, if we if we clear out, if we save a hostage, does everyone in the squad get the experience points, or does it only go to the agent who saved the hostage? That's something else worth speaking figuring out for later. It might not even matter that much. I don't even know how much XP I'm getting. Let me double check how much I need. See, well, I left behind a timer grenade when I dashed in the air, apparently. Okay, uh, squad. XP, XP. So it doesn't say how much XP. It just says it's just a meter. Uh, have you agent abilities? Yeah, it doesn't say what the experience level is for any of these characters. It just, it's just a meter, which isn't very useful. Okay, let me dash. So left behind a timer. There it is right there. Can I do it in the air? Yes, I can. So I can leave behind a timer and grenade in the air. That's pretty interesting. I don't want to leave that behind if someone's on that roof, though. A civilian. See? That blew up again. Cute! Cute! Okay, I don't want to blow up these cars either. Hey, the mopeds came back after I shot them. Oh, here we go. Hold on. I got this thing. Boom! Okay, I'm nowhere close to it. I think I blew up somebody else. So we need to commandeer a vehicle. Excuse me, sir. Stealing your car. 
to the video game. So I'm going to have to drive. Okay, there's a lot of pipe in. I saw that pop in on the traffic. That's not cool. Um, I won? Did I win? It blew itself up. Okay. <laughs> I am not complaining. <laughs>